Hi guys, Sam here again from Sam's Review, uh, doing another Bat Sam Review. Today we're looking at the last figure in the first wave of Gotham figures. Today we're looking at Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. So here's a look at Mr. Cobblepot inside of the box, or as they call him on the show, Cobbleput, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, but there he is, Oswald Cobblepot. There it says, the Penguin Deluxe Action Figure with Base, got them before the legend down the side, by Diamond Select Toys. On the side has a picture of Robin Lord Taylor, who has done by far my favourite on-screen depiction of the Penguin. I love, I love his version of the Penguin, it's brilliant. He's both sympathetic, which if you've read the comics, his character is really. Um, you know, he's a bit sympathetic, but he's also villainous at the same time. So he's. Uh, I love his depiction, uh, especially in the first few episodes of the series. I mean, from the uh, I believe it is the first two episodes, the pilot and the second episode, they're absolutely intense. Uh, I wish his character had stayed a little bit more like that. Um, but he's still fascinating and is one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, I keep coming back to this show. He is brilliant in the role. Anyway, have a look at the back of the box. There is a brief read up on the character in the show. If you'd like to pause and have a read of that. Other figures available in the in this first wave is Detective Jim Gordon and Selena Carl, who we have done reviews on. Uh, and then it says over here that if you attach Gordon uh, and Selena's bases together, that they form an alleyway. Uh, also here it has DiamondSelectToys.com, DC Comics and Warner Brothers, as well as ComicShopLocator.com. Right, well let's get this open and have a look at the figure. Um, I touched upon it in my other reviews, which are up on the channel, if you haven't seen them, go and watch them. Um, but I touched on it that I, as great as this packaging looks, and don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic. I think it's all a bit excessive. I mean, you've got all of this plastic here for a, a six inch figure. So I think it's a bit excessive, but that's really the only real complaint I have to say about these figures. Um, because they look fantastic. Uh, and I love the fact that they come with bases. Uh, I think more companies should do that. Oh, there we go. And his base is just falling right out. Okay. Right. So they all come with this little booklet, which I showed in the... Uh, my very first review, the Gordon review um, of these figures. It's the same book for each one, so once again we'll just have a quick look at that. We've got them before the legend, and then it's a licensed project, uh, product sorry, from Diamond Select Toys. And then if you open it up, it has the first series of figures and shows you about the display bases. And then on the back, it has the wave of mini mate figures. So that's them. So that's one side. But the other useful thing is the plastic bags they come in. I found it quite useful for what I've used them for over here is all the little loose accessories you have. You just draw them in these, which is <laughs> it's kind of it's useful because things like those little pegs for the display base from Selena Kyle and uh, Jim Gordon will easily get lost and uh, it's just nice to have something to store them in so you know you're not going to lose them. Anyway, move the box to the side. Ah, cable tie is my favourite. Uh, I, oh, I said in uh, both of the other reviews that I'm not a fan of all these cable ties. Uh, I can understand one being around the torso, but do we need them around absolutely everything in a, in a box? Um, 
you know, things like this, it takes so long to get them out, and they're so twisty and fiddly. I mean, I can understand you need one in there to stop the figure from flying around, but for the everything, it seems a bit ridiculous. I mean, do we need one around every arm, every leg, and nearly every accessory? No, no, we don't, is the answer. But that's, that's really the extent of my nitpicking with these figures. Um, so what have you thought of the show? Like I said earlier, um, I'm a massive fan of the Penguin in the show. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I love the tone, I love the look of the show. Uh, I'm, I, I feel that it, it kind of took, it took a while um, after the first two episodes for it to really get going again. And there are a lot of uh, really great episodes, but there were some that were just a bit goofy to me, like The Balloon. And I, I've heard people say that's a great episode to me. That is a stupid episode. You know, how can policemen not know that if uh, a helium balloon goes up, it's eventually going to pop? You know, it's uh, stupid things like like that kind of ruin the show for me. Because you know, if you're a detective, surely you'd know basic laws of physics and science and stuff like that. But there we go. Um, but you know, Robin Lord Taylor's character is how he's continued to rise through the uh, underworld of Gotham. It's been uh, quite interesting and see his motivations and stuff. You know, I'm a big, big fan of his in the show. I think he's brilliant. Um, I think if they carry the Penguin on over to movies, you know, we've got the new Ben Affleck movies. I think, you know, and even though he's playing a young Penguin, maybe they could get him in a fat suit or something. I don't know, and get him to you know carry on the role, if not the display base. <laughs> But uh, cause I think he's that good. Um, I'm not a fan of. I know they're talking about that there's a character who may. It's kind of heavily hinted in season one that he's the Joker. Um, and I'm not a fan of that. I'm strongly in the camp of. You shouldn't re ever really know the Joker's origin. Um, you know, like he says in the comics, uh, that if he had a backstory, he'd prefer it to be multiple choice. So, which is kind of what I like about the character. There's different interpretations of how he became the Joker, and in the show, it's just being the reasons why this certain character could be the Joker. I just, I, I don't like it at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know that same person playing this certain um, character has carried on over into season two, which makes me also think that it could be uh, Mr. J, uh, but I hope it, hope it isn't. I really hope it isn't, because not like that. Anyway, nearly there. The last thing. See, it's the end of the cable ties. Get that out. Okay, finally, we're there. Okay. At long last, cable ties, the bane of my existence. Anyway, let's have a look. First, let's have a look at the display base he comes with. So he comes with a dock piece. He's got some nice wood effects on it down here, and this is a bit made look more a bit like concrete. It's got a, a pillar, a bit of a piece of wood which has also got a nail in it. Bent over now, which is quite a nice detail. I'm not really, I guess it's supposed to go that way. Um, so, you know, it's nice, it's got no peg holes, but I don't know. It's, I guess, this is taken because of what happens in season one relatively early on with 
the penguin and the duck. Well, I kind of would have preferred, I'm not complaining at all, because display bases are always good. But I kind of would have liked to see him maybe come with a bit of a bar or something, like a bar, and then you could just have him propped up next to it, because of obviously the iceberg lounge and his character known for being a nightclub owner. So I thought, you know, that would have been more character specific than a piece of dock, which he was only in for one scene in one episode. But there we go, I'm not complaining, it's still nice, it's done well, so put that over to one side. Now, it's time to have a look at the figure himself. Now, he doesn't, that could be a problem. This is a problem that I have found with these figures, is that some of the joints are just stupidly tight. There, I've managed to get his head up. That's about as far as I can get his head up, but the likeness, I think, is there. I know some people, other reviewers have said, oh, I don't really see it, it's a bit off. And I think I've realised what it is. It's if you look at the photo on the side, is he has a lot of dark makeup to make it look like he's got dark rings under his eyes and stuff like that. And even on this artwork on the back here, on the packaging, it's got that. But on the actual figure itself, it doesn't. So maybe that's what other people are not seeing it for. Um, but I think the likeness is there. Uh, I love the hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got his funky little suit on with the purple kind of checker pattern underneath and the green here borderline joker color, colors but that's fine um yeah i like it let's uh quickly have a look at his articulation so he's got his arms come out about that far they rotate all the way around uh he has single jointed elbows that go about that far and also the swivel out He's got hinges on the hands, but mine are a bit painted in place at the moment, so I'm not really going to mess with them too much. Uh, what else has he got? He's got an upper torso ball joint, kind of an ab crunch thing. There's not really much movement in it, but there's some. Uh, twist at the waist. Right, he's got upper leg cuts here, so you can twist to get the actual kind of weird stance he has when he stands. Uh, he's got legs that go up that far. They go back about that much. And then he's also got the same T-cut legs as uh, Gordon's got, so they kind of hinge out. But I'm not ever really a massive fan of those sorts of joints because, oh no, his ones are alright, so he can kind of do the split out probably about that much. But I'm not a massive fan of that kind of joint because you always feel like you're going to break it because they're like hinge on hinge things. So anyway, that's that. He's got double jointed knees. And then he's got my least favourite part of articulation on any figure ever. He's got hinge feet and a little bit of side to side, but hinge feet, if you've watched my other reviews, you will know I cannot stand them because if you've got a weak hinge in a foot uh, and it's a bit loose, even though it's slightly a bit loose, you're just going to get pop every time you stand him up. And I've got several figures that do that and it's the most annoying thing. You know, it's worse than a frozen joint because a frozen joint you can undo with a little bit of hot water or the freezer trick but this you know when you get a loose a loose joint especially like a knee or a foot it's 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 a nightmare especially if you've got a display base uh, and you haven't got any peg holes um speaking of peg holes this figure has two so he's got a peg hole in each foot he also comes with four accessories he comes with Two sets of left hands, both different grip types. He's got this one, which is to hold, I believe, 
this other accessory that I have here, which I'll show you in a minute, which is an apple. So you kind of get that grip holding the apple. And whilst we've got the apple here, I'm going to show you it. It's just a tiny green apple. And a lot of other people I've seen who've reviewed this have said, well, why does it come with an apple? Uh, and that's because in one of the episodes, he's torturing someone for information. Uh, I believe it's from uh, Carmine Falcone's gang. Uh, and whilst they're torturing him, he sits down and slices himself an apple and starts eating it. And early on, they didn't really carry it over, which um, I was kind of hoping they would. Which uh, I noticed in the first few episodes, especially in the end of the pilot, whenever he killed someone, he'd eat something. It was almost like it was kind of uh, like it, uh, how he would reward himself, almost like, um, I don't know, like it was part of something he had to do. Uh, like if, as soon as he finished giving someone, he had to eat something to make himself feel good or, or just, I don't know. <laughs> but I thought that was a good way to also explain why he becomes larger later on in life whenever he kills something he has to eat something um but there we are so he's got an apple and then he's got another hand which is another grasping hand for i guess holding the top of the next accessory which is his umbrella and one's a little bit warped out the packaging but that's nothing that a little bit of hot water and patience can't fix so that's uh, luckily for me, it's just the handle, the rest of it's pretty straight. So there's his uh, umbrella, got some silver little accents there for the ends of the umbrella as it's folded up. It's got a black tip, so you can't have the penguin without an umbrella. And uh, it's his left hand that always uh, swaps out. So, with that, from what I've been told, just Ooh. I believe you just pull that out, but mine's proven to be a bit tough, so I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't really need him holding any other hands uh, because I'm just going to have him holding his umbrella anyway. I don't need him to. Hold an apple, which he had in one scene. <laughs> I mean, I can just have that lying around somewhere. But he holds his umbrella. There we go, if I can actually do it. I don't know where he So he held his umbrella alright. And we have got the foot out as well. We've got the perfect little sun, so. I've been using the pan on the camera now. You can kind of oh. yeah, get like that, which yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. You've got him there with his umbrella, standing there with his weird little stance, all ready to go. So, that's my review. I think these figures all round are pretty good. Um, I can't wait for the next series. I'll definitely be picking them up uh, in the next wave, which I believe is coming. In March here in the UK, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get um, Edward Nigma, uh, Harvey Bullock, which would be good to get because I don't think we've ever got a Harvey Bullock figure before, um, unless he was from the old Kenner line. Um, so yeah, we'll get Harvey Bullock, Edward Nigma, and Alfred Pennyworth. Um, so that's my review. Uh, thanks for watching my. Last review for Batman related stuff uh, before the end of the year will be coming up later this week. Uh, I will be uploading it uh, to YouTube on Christmas Eve. Um, so I hope you'll watch that video. If you don't, have a good Christmas, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you in Gotham. Bye.